Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nine to be back here with another video, and today I have a very interesting uh, unboxing video to do. Now, this one uh, might have some of you a bit more intrigued than some of my other unboxings because this one is from my purchases from Criterion Collection's uh, recent flash sale. So they recently had a flash sale where for 24 hours only they were having a 50% discount on literally everything in their catalog. Now. Because I budget, <laughs> I didn't go crazy, um, you know, with this sale. If I knew that it was coming, I would have budgeted appropriately and probably gotten a few more things. Uh, at least a raisin in a sun. Uh, but I was just like, wow, this is quick. Let me go ahead and, and grab something real quick. Uh, so there were like four or five uh, Criterion releases that I wanted. I ended up settling for two, kind of going with a theme of picking... Um, breakup films <laughs> because I'm like I don't have any breakup films in my in my um, in my film collection so I decided to go for two blu-rays this one right here is scenes of a marriage and this right here is uh, what is this this is um, a marriage story so first going to uh, scenes of a marriage uh, this actually actually hold on uh, hey Ziggy Ziggy turn on the lights so that you guys can see this easier um, mm -hmm. I actually was intrigued by this when I saw that HBO came out with a rendition of this. Um, looked it up on IMDb. They said that there were, um, some, some sex scenes in there. And, you know, I, I try to avoid stuff with, uh, you know, those types of explicit scenes in them. But then I found out that it was a, basically, basically a remake of this original series, um, which didn't have, um, those types of scenes in them. So... I figured I would go ahead and get the original. Uh, many people said that the original was better anyways after um, the HBO version came out. So anyways, here it is. Now, I did a little bit of research on this as well. Apparently this includes both the film on Blu-ray as well as uh, there was like a televised version of it or maybe it was originally a television series that was then cut into a movie. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but it's got both like a TV version of this and a movie version of this. So if you want to watch this as a show, you can do that. Or if you want to watch this as a movie, you can uh, do that too. I'm not sure where I'll put it in my catalog, uh, considering <laughs> that I have different sections for shows and movies. I guess it depends on what the original format was. But anyways, here's what the side looks like. You can see the, uh, the side right there. And on the back right here, you've got, uh, you know, description. I think this is a synopsis of the film, as well as a list of the special features that are on the second disc. Or I guess actually on both discs. Oh yeah. So over here, got some tech specs about the various releases that are, that are on this thing. And, uh, yeah. One thing I am noticing, I'm a little bit surprised, is that, is that this is slightly crooked. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, uh, it's slightly crooked. Um, was not entirely expecting that. And opening this up. One thing I am disappointed by is the fact that this is not in, um, 4K. I'm actually surprised at how many Criterion releases are only in, uh, Blu-ray. But, uh, look at this. This is, this is some cool art. Oh. It's like a full, it's like a full booklet. I, I don't want to, um, you know how sometimes like you can open up booklets and then like close them wrong. So I don't, I don't want to do that, but this booklet is cool and uh, it's nice to have that high res art. Oh, ooh. And here's something I have not seen in a, a physical media release in a while. Um, even though to be fair, I've also slowed down on, um, on purchasing, purchasing discs lately, as I'm sure you could tell by watching the channel. Um, if I take out all the discs, there's actually art on the back, which I really like, but I, I rarely see. So that also is much appreciated. Here we have disc one, this is the television version. Okay, so I'm assuming that the original version of this is the television version. And then right here, you've got the theatrical release version of this, uh, of this, I guess a miniseries would be a proper way to call it then. Miniseries, not a movie. But yeah, so that just about covers it for this. Now it's time for the second release, which I guess this is almost kind of like a digit book. Like this is not like a standard normal style release. But anyways, this right here is Marriage Story. Uh, this one, I've kind of seen like a couple like um, Instagram shorts of this. So I kind of understand the concept of this film. Um, 
I was looking into Sam Levinson, actually. This is an interesting story of how I, how I you know, decided to put this even on my watch list. Is uh, I was looking into Sam Levinson. And, you know, I, like, I know he's problematic. Uh, and, you know, a lot of this content that he makes is, like, extremely sexualized. But I was like, I wonder, like, what stuff in his library um, isn't as hypersexualized and isn't as problematic. Maybe stuff, you know, that was also shot by Marcel Rev, who was the real guy who came up with the uh, the Sam Levinson look. It's, it doesn't really belong to Sam Levinson. It's really more Marcel Rev, but he doesn't really get the credit he deserves. Um, and then I looked into, uh, what was it called? Um, Malcolm and Marie. And I saw the Malcolm and Marie, even though it wasn't, like, you know, that sexualized, it didn't have great reviews, and I realized that the plot is basically the same as, th- as this, from what I can tell. So I was like, well, I should get this, the better version, the original version, and watch this first before I try <laughs> and get Malcolm and Marie. So that's how I decided um, to get this, um, put it on my watch list, and then eventually getting it during the flash sale. So here, <laughs> interesting story, uh, but here <laughs> is um, what the art looks like here on the uh, the front. This is what one side of it looks like. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. That's what one side of it looks like. And here is what the other side looks like. And here on the back, got a synopsis of the film as well as text spec stuff down here. Hopefully this video doesn't uh, end up end on me. And we've got like some copyright stuff, some typical standard detail things here on the side. Now this part right here slides out, and this is, yeah, this is giving me digital book vibes. Ooh. Are these set photos or screenshots? Because the resolution on this is pretty high. Kind of hard to tell. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, I have not seen any cast members. Oh, ooh. Oh, this is falling. Ooh, that's not great. That's not great design. But I have not seen any cast me- members other than the, t- the two couple, than the couple, like the, the two main characters. Um, so I didn't, yeah, I didn't know what the kids looked like. I didn't even know there was a kid. But this is neat. So we have like make a makeshift note in here. As well as like another thing, which is like a, another booklet that I'm sure has, um, oh, it's cool. It looks like set photos and names of all the cast and crew, the people who worked on the film. That's neat. But yeah. So there's like, they're like makeshift notes here. I guess these are notes that they like wrote to each other. I feel like it'd be fun to read these after watching the movie. Because I bet this is like an Easter egg to something that happens in the film. So I'm not going to read them because I don't want to spoil them. (laughs) But in any case, just like the other release, and this is actually kind of hard to get the disc out of this one. Um, Just like the other release, behind the disc, we have a picture as well. Just of a street. A normal street. Sure has no significance to the film at all. <laughs> and here's what the uh, the disc for Marriage Story looks like. So I don't know. Maybe after watching this movie I'll get so exhausted that I don't want to watch.